right, Remnants. Happy Wednesday. Uh, happy Remnants worship. Okay. Uh, before we start, okay, I want you guys to pray on your own. God, give me the filling of this Holy Spirit. Most importantly, guard my heart and my mind okay, at this moment. Allow me to be able to worship. Allow me to be able to not be afraid. Allow me to not be anxious, not be upset, not be carried away by anything, right? Uh, you guys should all be on summer break now, right? So there's nothing to worry about school, right? Um, so let's, at this time, let's just take this 10, 15 seconds for yourselves, okay? Give me the feeling of the Holy Spirit, guard my heart and my mind. I'm going to be able to worship with all of my heart, okay? 15 seconds. name of Jesus Christ we pray. Amen. All right, let's praise this together. Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I love to sing your praises. I'm so glad you're in my life. I'm so glad you came to save us. You came from heaven to earth to show the way from the earth to the cross. My death to pay from the cross to the grave, from the grave to the sky. Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I love to sing your praises. I'm so glad you're in my life. I'm so glad you came to save us. You came from heaven to earth to show the way from the earth to the cross. By death to pay from the cross to the grave, from the grave to the sky. And Lord, I lift your name on Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I love to sing your praises. I'm so glad you're in my life. I'm so glad you came to save us. You came from heaven to earth to show the way from the earth to the cross. My death to pay from the cross to the grave, from the grave to the sky. Lord, I lift your name on high. You came from heaven to earth to show the way from the earth to the cross. My death to pay from the cross to the grave, from the grave to the sky. Lord, I lift your name on high. You came from heaven to earth to show the way from the earth to the cross. My death to pay from the cross to the grave, from the grave to the sky. Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I lift your name on high. Amen. All right. Okay, there's two songs that I want to introduce, right? This, is, this will be the first one of the two this week, okay? enter into prayer we're going back to 2013 okay I, as uh, as we praise this together okay read the lyrics we'll sing it a little bit slower than usual okay but i want you guys to read the lyrics and really think about what we're pra uh, what we're praising okay all right here we go as i enter into prayer As I enter into prayer, I can feel the strength of God. I can 
The scars are crumbling down till they become flat as planes. My life is being lifted up, and it's come that I'm raised. I will take the gospel to desperate souls who need Jesus as the only answer he is life and death. I will repent my roots within the gospel. I will live my life for him, giving glory to God. I will live, I will live my life for him, giving Glory to God. All right, makes sense? All right, now we'll sing at the original tempo. All right, here we go. All right, as I enter, as I enter into prayer, I can feel the strength of God. I can soar on wings and rise above the clouds. As I enter into prayer, I can feel the strength of God. I'll become the one God will use to save the nation. Mountains of scars are crumbling down till they become flat as plain. My life is being lifted up in his cup that I'm raised. I will take the gospel. To desperate souls who need Jesus as the only answer, he is life and death. I will dip in my roots within the gospel. I will live my life for him, giving glory to God. Sing it from the beginning. Here we go. As I enter into prayer. I can feel the strength of God. I can soar on wings and rise above the clouds. As I enter into prayer, I can feel the strength of God. I'll become the one God will use to save the nation. Mountains of scars are crumbling down. They become flat as planes. My life is being lifted up in its covenant. I'm raised. I will take the gospel to the souls who need Jesus as the only answer. He is life and death. I will dip in my room. Within the gospel, I will live my life for him, giving glory to God. I will take, I will take the gospel to desperate souls who need Jesus as the only answer. He is like day. I will deep in my room. Within the gospel, I will live my life for him, giving glory to God. I will live, I will live my life for him, giving glory to God. Amen. All right. Amen.
BVS for all of you guys. Do, do any of you guys remember this melody? How does it go? I forgot, I have to relearn it. Okay, anyways. That was my favorite, okay? Try to jog your memory when you hear it. All right, here we go. Next one, V-I-C-T-O-R-Y. All right, let's have victory in today's worship. All right, here we go. One, two, three. V-I-C-T-O-R-Y. I I have victory over my worries. V-I-C-T-O-R-Y. In the name of Jesus, I have victory. One, two, three, four. I have my Jesus in my heart. He'll never leave me, never depart. He is there to protect me. He is there to direct me. Here we go. B-I-C-T-O-R-Y. I I have victory over my worries. B-I-C-T-O-R-Y. In the name of Jesus, I have victory. From the top. B-I-C-T-O-R-Y, I have victory over my worries, B-I-C-T-O-R-Y, in the name of Jesus, I have victory, one, two, three, here we go, I have my Jesus in my heart, he'll never leave me, never depart, he is there to protect me, he is there to direct me. B-I-C-T-O-R-Y, I have victory over my worries, B-I-C-T-O-R-Y, in the name of Jesus, I have, all right, let's do it one more time, Remnants, one more time, guys, in B-I-C-T-O-R-Y, I have victory over my worries, B-I-C-T-O-R-Y, in the name of Jesus, I have victory. One, two, three, four. I have my Jesus in my heart. He'll never leave me, never depart. He is there to protect me. He is there to direct me. B-I-C-T-O-R-Y. I have victory over my worries. B-I. C-T-O-R-Y, in the name of Jesus, I have victory, in the name, in the name of Jesus, I have victory, in the name, in the name of Jesus, I have victory. All right. I'm a child of God, covenant cat. I'm a child of God, I'm a covenant kid, I'm a child of God, believing in his promises, Jesus, Jesus, forgets my sins, Jesus, he's always leading me, Jesus, answers my prayers, Jesus gives me victory, I'm a child of God. I'm a covenant kid, I'm a child of God, believing in his promises, Jesus, Jesus forgets my sins, Jesus, he's always leading me, Jesus answers my prayers, Jesus gives me victory, I'm a child of God, I'm a covenant kid. I'm a child of God, believing in his promises. I'm a child, I'm a child of God. I'm a covenant again. I'm a child of God, believing in his promises. Believing, believing in his promises. Believing, believing in his promises.
you guys are all sweating at home. Sadly, I'm sweating more while praising than when I work out. That means I'm praising correctly and I'm working out incorrectly. Amen? That is a great evidence, okay? Even when I run, I don't sweat this much. That means I'm doing something wrong. But I'm praising correctly, amen? You guys should all sweat just like me. I don't know if you guys can see. All right, remnants? Okay. I'm sure some of the parents are probably laughing, but it's okay, right? I am not ashamed of the gospel. All right, here we go. I know I am in the Lord. I know I am in the Lord, and He is in me too. He will, He will guide, He will watch over my life always. Here we go in this world. Many people just live in pain, and my God is wanting me to bring them all to Him. I know I am in the Lord. And he is in me too. He will guide, he will watch over my life. Always in this world, many people just live in peace. And my God is wanting me to bring them all to encourage. 주님 안에 내가 있고 내 안에 주님이 언제나 지키시고 나를 인도하셔 세상에서 고통받는 많은 사람에게 나를 통해서 건져내실 하나님이 원하한번더 주님 안에 내가 있고 내 안에 주님이 언제나 지키시고 나를 인도하셔 세상에서 고통받는 많은 사람에게 나를 통해서 권전하시 하나님이 원하셔 내 작은 마음 내 작은 마음이 콩콩콩 내 작은 두 눈이 반짝반짝 예수가 그리스도 되시 난 항상 감사해 라라라라라라라라라라라라라라라라라라라라라라라라라라라라라라라라라라라라라라라라라라라라라라라라라라라라라라라라라라라라라라라라라라라라라라라라라라라라라라라라라라라라라라라라라라라라라라라라라라라라
last time, brothers. God is so good. God is so good. Hallelujah. God is so good. Hallelujah. God is so good. He's so Heavenly Father, may you be able to guard our hearts and our minds during this time of worship. Uh, may we be able to come to know this accurate gospel that Jesus says to Christ. Uh, may we be able to know the mystery um, of the spiritual strength that comes inside of uh, your prayer and evangelism, Lord. Uh, may we be able to equip ourselves uh, with all the things uh, that you have prepared. May we be able to truly uh, grab hold of uh, your word, your prayer, and your evangelism during this time, Lord. Uh, may the remnants be able to uh, not have the standard of this world, uh, but truly be able to have the standard um, of you, uh, standard of, uh, of Emmanuel, standard of having oneness, having with, uh, with you um, at this time, Lord. Uh, may you break down all the force of darkness, and once again, uh, may you be able to guard our hearts and our minds, uh, allow us to be able to not be anxious, uh, not be afraid, uh, not be worried about anything, uh, but truly succeed in today's worship. We thank you, we love you, pray all these things in the name of Jesus Christ. All right, let's, let's get ready for today's message. You, old child of God, three, two, one, without spot or blame, until the appearing of our Lord Jesus Christ, may I pursue righteousness, godliness, faith, love, endurance, and gentleness, and fight the good fight of faith. I confess that, God, you are the blessed and only ruler, the King of kings and the Lord of lords, who alone is immortal and who lives in unapproachable light, whom no one has seen or can see, and to you be the honor and eternal dominion. Amen. For for vengeance and missions, three, two, one. May I not bow to the threats of the world, but grant me to speak your word with great boldness, while you stretch out your hand to heal and perform signs and wonders through the name of your holy servant, Jesus. Let's pray the Apostles' Creed together. I believe in you, my God, the Father Almighty, the creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, your only Son, my Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, who suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. On the third day you rose again, you ascended into heaven, you were seated at the right hand of the Father, and shall then come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in your Holy Spirit, the whole universal church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Jesus Christ, say me pray. Amen. Remnant's prayer for the church. Dear God, bless the pastors to be only the gospel, evangelism, and prayer. Dear God, bless the church officers to save the remnants, church, field, regions, occupations. Bless the young adults to be prepared as the church officers, be the hands and feet of the pastors, and the platform for the remnants. Bless us to be rooted in your word, prayer, evangelism, missions, academics. Today's message. Jesus is the Christ, the answer to all problems. Jesus is the Christ, the answer to all problems. Please write this down. Jesus is the Christ, the answer, the solution to all my problems. Not just my problems, not just your problems, all problems. Jesus Christ, and to all problems. Four, three, two, one. Our Bible verse today comes from Matthew 16, 16, a Bible verse that we're well familiar of. Let's read it together. Simon Peter replied, you are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Amen. Our lesson objective, Jesus' life, Jesus is, Jesus' power, the Christ, the experience working of Holy Spirit, answer to all my problems. If you just read what's in parentheses, Jesus is the Christ, answer to all my problems. Take a minute to write this down. Jesus' life, Jesus is, Jesus' power, the Christ, the experience working of Holy Spirit, answer to all my problems. 
give it a couple more seconds. Jesus is Christ, the answer to all problems. Do we believe that, remnants? Ten more seconds. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Moving on. Okay, so our title is Jesus is a Christ, answer to all my problems. Well, remnants, do we have problems? Do I have problems? Do you have problems? Am I, do I feel all alone, lonely? I don't fit in. Do we remnants feel that way sometimes? Left out, all alone. Do you remnants feel overstressed? Oh, my parents make me do too much. It's so overwhelming. It's stressful. Oh, I have to do this. I have to do that. I have to do this after school program. So much homework, so much chores. I got to take care of my younger siblings. Ah, so much stress. Do we feel that way sometimes, remnants? Misunderstood? Do I feel misunderstood? Uh, nobody understands me. My parents don't understand me. My siblings don't understand me. How come nobody seems to understand me? Why do I feel so different? <gasps> Even people at church, they don't understand me. Are we like that, remnants? I feel so different. Why do I feel this way? Mm, are we poor? Are we going through poverty? Oh, my friends, they have everything they want. How come I can't have what I want? Are we like that, remnants? Mm, do we have family problems? Why are my parents always fighting and arguing? Oh, I don't get along with my brothers and sisters. Oh, I want to leave home. Oh, when I get older, I'm leaving my house as soon as I can. Can't take it here anymore. Are we like that, remnants? Could be. Oh, I feel so angry, so frustrated. Why am I feeling this way? Why do I have so much anger inside of my heart? Why do I feel so violent? Are we like that sometimes, remnants? Could be. Us remnants, we might be good at hiding our problems. Oh, I can't sleep at night. I try to sleep on time, but I just can't. I just keep having nightmares. I have too much on my mind. I can't sleep. Are we like that sometimes, remnants? I really, really want to sleep, but I can't. I'm constantly thinking about video games, movies. I have to be doing something. If I don't do it, then I feel anxious. Maybe we're addicted to games, technology. Are we like that, remnants? junk food oh, I don't get along at school with my peers my classmates I feel left out I'm getting bullied at school there's always that one person who's always picking on me I don't know what to do if I tell my parents and my teachers then I feel like that person's gonna beat me up after school and problems are just gonna get worse Oh, people keep making fun of me online. 
or talking behind my back. Don't you like that, remnants? Well, we all, have, we all have problems. You guys might also have problems that you guys are not comfortable to share, or we got very good at hiding these problems. But God's method to solve those problems is enjoying with. I might not be able to understand your problems. Your parents might not be able to, your teachers, friends, siblings, but there is one individual who can, and that's God, right? You guys are remnants, precious children of God, and God is with you. That's what we have to enjoy. You have problems? It's all right. God's with you. If we could enjoy this, then are problems really problems? Well, the God who's with us is greater, more powerful, bigger than the problems that we have. Our God can solve these problems instantly. So we just have to enjoy God being with me, right? With me, with us, with all of us as a church, working for our good, for his plan, oneness, right? With Emmanuel, oneness, only, uniqueness, recreation, 24, 25, eternity. So many phrases that we mention at church, right? But we're not just saying it, remnants. It's not just what you know with your, with your head. Are you experiencing it? Okay, so God's method when we have problems is for us to enjoy him being with us, right? We also need to know some spiritual facts. What's the title of today's message? Jesus is the Christ, the answer to all my problems. Okay, well, that's a spiritual fact. Jesus is the Christ. What does Christ mean? The anointed one. Three offices receive anointment to confirm their position before God, and they were prophets, priests, and kings. What do prophets do? They show people the way to meet God, right? What do priests do? They're in charge of worship, the tabernacle, the temple, blood sacrifice, Okay, they forgive sins. Kings, what do kings do? They have power, right, to rule the kingdom. Well, Jesus came as a true prophet who is the only way to meet God. Jesus came as a true priest who set us free from the law of sin and death. Remember, the Passover lamb? and true king who destroyed the work of Satan. Jesus is the Christ, the answer to all problems. Okay, so we need to make this message, gospel, the fact that Jesus is the Christ, the answer to all problems, mine. We need to personalize it, right? Mine, 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 make it mine. Don't just know it in our head but we need to experience it, taste it for real. Don't just say it, oh, Jesus Christ, answer to all my problems, but we just say it. Do we actually believe it? Are we tasting it? Do we, do we actually experience it? Once we do, we can relay it to other people. Like in the track race, they relay the baton to the next person, we relay this important message, this life, to other people. And that's how we make disciples of all nations, right? What is our mission in life as a church? 237, heal, raise the remnant summits, right? But how do we do that if we don't have the message of the cross and it's not mine? 
So we need to first enjoy with. Capriche. So there's a story where Jesus and his disciples were out at sea um, and a storm took place. Now, Jesus was in the back of the boat, asleep on a pillow. It's probably soaking wet with the waves, um, the rain, flooding the boat. But Jesus was asleep. Now, his disciples were freaking out. And the disciples were afraid. So they woke Jesus up. And Jesus was uh, frustrated. He woke up and he yelled at the sea, the storm, be quiet, be still. And the waves, completely calm. And then do you know what Jesus said to his disciples? Why are you afraid? Do you still have no faith? Jesus was able to sleep during the middle of a storm, right? But his disciples were afraid. Why were they afraid? They thought they were going to drown. The boat was going to flip, get destroyed. They thought they were uh, in danger. But Jesus was asleep, knowing that they're not going to die. Jesus is with them. So the disciples did not know who Jesus was. The fact that Jesus was with them, whether he was asleep or not, the fact that he was with them, that means they don't have to worry. They don't have to be afraid. The problem's already solved. Okay? So, Jesus, the fact that he's with me, with you, is more than enough. Okay? Why? Because he's the answer to all problems. He's the Christ. Amen? Amen. All right. Well, how do we continue to experience Jesus being the Christ, the answer to all my problems? God's method is for us to enjoy him being with me, right? Well, how do I do that? Concentrate in prayer. Concentrate in prayer. All right, we have to focus. What happens when we concentrate in prayer and concentrate holding on to Jesus being the Christ, answer to all my problems? In other words, the covenant? Mm, great miracles take place. Or working of the Holy Spirit. Right? If we hold on to the covenant and pray, God works through his Holy Spirit and great miracles arise. Okay, well, how should I pray? With assurance, right? 100% faith, more than 100%. Now, we covered the five assurances last time. What is the first, the first one? Assurance of? Ah, salvation. God's with me, right? That's everything. Jesus is Christ, answer to all my problems. Why? Because he's with me. Salvation means I'm saved. I'm a child of God. God's with me. We need to concentrate in prayer knowing this fact. Okay? What's the next assurance? Assurance of salvation. Assurance of answer to prayer. Right? No. When we hold on to the covenant and pray, God will work through his Holy Spirit and he will answer us. We just have to pray according to what God wants. What does God want? For us to enjoy with, right? If we are enjoying with through prayer, God will take care of the rest. Assurance of answers to prayer. What's the next assurance? Mm, guidance. God guides us, right? So... Just like Jesus questioned his disciples, why are you afraid? Are we afraid? Are we worried about the future? Don't worry. Pray holding on to the covenant. Enjoy true happiness of God being with you, and God will guide you through his Holy Spirit. 
How do we receive guidance? Hold on to the word and pray. Next assurance, mm, forgiveness, right? Our mistakes, our sins. God's with me. Jesus is a Christ. He already forgave and took care of all of our sins, right? If we make a mistake, pray. And last but not least, um, assurance of victory. Oh, poor Nathan. He has quarantine hair. We pray in, with assurance of victory, right? Remember, if God's with me, then who can overcome me? Nobody. Victorious. God, the most powerful God who is in control of everything, is my daddy. That's victory. Okay? The fact that you're a child of God and that God's with you, you're victorious, baby. Now let's look at some figures in the Bible. Daniel, three friends. I don't know what he's holding. But these remnants, they weren't afraid of death. Shadrach, or Azariah, Mishael, Hananiah, those three friends, they weren't afraid of the fiery furnace. Why? Hey, Jesus is with me. I don't have to worry about anything. They were not like the disciples who were afraid of the storm. They are not afraid of death. Why? They were satisfied with Jesus being with them. That's it. Uh, Daniel? Remember the king said, if you pray to your God, you're going to be thrown into the lion's den? Eh, whatever. Right? He still prayed. Why? He's not afraid of death. He's not afraid of no kitty cats. Why? He knows who God is. And he knows who he is. Jesus was more than enough. God's with you, remnants. That's more than enough. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid of little kitty cats or water or fire. God's with us, right? We have David. He didn't need nothing else. Remember the confession that he made? The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not be in want. When he was king, eh, all the riches and money, he didn't need it. The great palace and kingdom he had, he didn't need it. He was satisfied with God alone. Is God being with me more than enough? Until it is, we've got to pray, succeed in worship, until we get to that point. How about Paul? Apostle Paul, he said, oh, everything's trash compared to knowing Christ. Right? Everything's rubbish, garbage, trash. Uh, my background, my studies, my money, trash compared to Christ Jesus. Why? Because all treasures of wisdom and knowledge are hidden inside of Christ. Amen? So these figures in the Bible were able to confess uh, Jesus Christ as to all my problems. And Jesus was more than enough because they knew this, that Christ is the answer. Jesus Christ as to just not my problems, but all problems. Okay? Now, when we enjoy God being with me, when we concentrate in prayer and keep focusing on only Jesus, Jesus' life, Jesus' power, then we gain spiritual strength. Right? We become spiritually strong, spiritually mature, without us even knowing it. Remember little shepherd boy David? When he was young, he was more spiritually strong and mature than the king of Israel. Okay? Okay, once we're spiritually strong and spiritually mature, people with spiritual problems, without them even knowing it, they gravitate towards you. Why? Because you're spiritually strong. You have the answer. So people who are suffering spiritually... They have no choice but to go to you. For some reason, uh, do your friends keep sharing their problems with you? Or keep 
talking to you, even though you don't want to talk to them? Maybe it's them trying to, they're, they're attracted to you spiritually because you have the spiritual answer. Right? We have Christ. So, people, for, so non-believers who are in spiritual problems, they gravitate towards people with the answer or church, right? The more crazy people at church, the better. Why? Because they gravitate towards a place of worship where there is the answer and for them to receive healing, right? And once you become more spiritually strong and mature, slowly problems aren't really, they don't really become problems to you anymore. Now, don't get me wrong. Your suffering is still there. Say, I don't get along with this person. Um, and as you pray, it's not like that person is just going to go away and die. It's just, it just doesn't become a problem. It's not a problem. Nothing because it becomes a problem for us remnants when we, when we have spiritual strength. Loneliness, poverty, misunderstandings. Nobody understands me. It's all right. Bullies, family problems. It's okay. If I have spiritual strength, it's not a problem to me. So remnants, we need to be spiritually mature. How do we do that? Keep focusing on Jesus as a Christ and concentrate in prayer, holding on to only the covenant. Don't pray for your problems to go away. Pray so that we can hold and experience Jesus being the Christ. Okay? Don't switch the order. After Jesus calmed the, the sea, the storm, they landed in a new place. And right when they got there, there was this evil, demon-possessed man who ran before Jesus got down on his knees and yelled out, well, why are you here? What are you going to do to me? Jesus, son of the most high God, please don't torture me. You see how people with spiritual problems, they recognize who Jesus is? And Jesus uh, asked him, what's your name? And the evil spirits inside the man said, oh, my name is Legion, Legion, which is another word for like army, for we are many. So many evil spirits were inside of this man. Have you ever seen like uh, in movies, they do exorcisms, and like a priest comes and put, sprays water on the person's forehead, and the evil spirit comes out? Well, that's not permanent, right? It said when the evil spirit comes out of a person and finds nowhere else to go, comes back with seven times more evil spirits. So imagine how many evil spirits were inside of this man. And Jesus rebuked, yelled at the evil spirit. Come out. And then the evil spirit said, don't torture me. Um, um, oh, do you see that herd of pigs? Please, let us just go into the herd of pigs. And Jesus said, okay. And the evil spirits were, were cast out of this man. They entered into the herd of pigs. 2,000 piggies. And all these pigs, uh, they killed themselves, jumped off the cliff. Now the villagers, the shepherds in charge of those piggies were shocked. They saw what happened. They went back to the village, told everybody, and they were afraid. When they came back, this demon-possessed man was all cleaned up, wore nice clothes, and he was in his right mind. And then... The villagers, they were afraid of Jesus because they thought, oh my gosh, he's going to kill our other animals. What's going to happen? So these villagers, they didn't even care about this man. All they cared about were their piggies. So they cared about physical things, not spiritual things. It's kind of sad, huh? So when we receive spiritual strength, we'll be like Jesus, who slept in the back of the boat 
despite there being a storm, waves, thunder, rain taking place, right? He wasn't afraid. He wasn't shaken by any problems or so-called problems. It was not a problem for Jesus. So remnants, enjoy God being with me. Concentrate in prayer. We will receive spiritual strength to the point that we won't be shaken by any problems. Okay? And it says, God will guard our hearts and our minds in Christ Jesus. Right? Problems, it might still be there, but we won't be affected by it. God will protect our hearts, protect our minds, so that we could focus on Christ Jesus. Okay? So, remnants, hold, um, enjoy Jesus being the Christ. Don't expect problems to go away, but pray that you guys could receive spiritual strength to the point that problems will not, will not be problems to you remnants. Okay? Spiritual strength, spiritually mature remnants. And you, we will enjoy true peace and happiness when we enjoy Christ Jesus. Jesus Christ, as to all my problems, God's with me, so problems aren't problems. The more problems I face, the better, because God is making me more mature into a summit. He's preparing my heart and vessel. So what do I tell my class all the time? Hey, the more hardships, the more problems, the better. Why? Because God's going to bless you even more. Why? Jesus is Christ. Answer to all my problems, your problems, all the problems. So let's, let's not just know it, but let's experience it. And be like Jesus who slept in the back of the boat in the middle of a storm. Okay? So, Jesus is Christ. Answer all my problems. What does that have to do with Jesus' life? Jesus' power? Let's have form with our teachers. And just a reminder that today is the deadline for you guys to turn in your comics for uh, the good soil. If you need more time, please let me know. And your new assignment for next week might be kind of silly, but okay. Whenever somebody asks you a question, your first response is going to be, Jesus is the Christ. Okay? Just your first response. If, let's say, your mom asks you, did you brush your teeth? Your first response will be, Jesus is the Christ. And then your parents might be confused. Wait, what did you just say? And then just say, oh, uh, yeah, 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 I brushed my teeth. Did you do your homework? Jesus is the Christ. What? Oh, yeah, 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 I'll do my homework. So, Whenever somebody asks you a question this week, it might annoy your parents, but your first response is going to be, Jesus is the Christ. Can we do that, remnants? Kind of silly, right? Let's give it a shot. Um, your parents might be angry, <laughs> but give it a shot, okay? Any questions that you're asked, remnants, your first response is, Jesus is the Christ. All right. Let's pray. Dear Lord, thank you so much. Bless us, remnants. Help us to experience Jesus being the Christ, the answer, solution to all problems, and receive spiritual strength as we focus on your method, which is you being with me. Help us to concentrate in prayer and pray with the five assurances. And help us to be spiritually mature remnants. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen.